Across the glassy water of the Ross Barnett Reservoir, a small island has a lone inhabitant. An old goat keeps watch as boats pass by. News cameras have only caught his image once and from afar. Jacob Kittlestadt returns to Goat Island this Mystery Monday. Never has a ride on a puttering pontoon boat felt more like an adventure, complete with a crew of salty dogs and a map to sights unseen past the Causeway Bridge. I guess look for Forest Point Park right here, and right past Forest Point Park, you take a right. Our captain is Chris Campbell, who's navigated these waters before. Destination, Goat Island. I would guesstimate it's probably two acres, heavily wooded. Not much brush growing on it because of the goats. One that I know of for sure, there could be others. And you don't know because they just kind of appear magically every once in a while. Yeah, they're curious. They want to see what's going on. Just like this one is right here. He's curious. He's looking at us coming in. About six inch long horns, solid white, a little bit of brown, I guess. Of the people I've spoken to, no one knows who put them there and wildlife officials aren't allowed to move them once they are there. So I'm going to try to make friends with the animal the only way I know how. Straight up bribery. Mr. Goat. It's good. You don't like celery? Ah, forget this. You like lettuce? What? He's not eating what I'm giving him. How does he even survive out here? The answer, coming courtesy Pickett Farms and Terry, is foraging. Uh, we've been farming this farm three generations, but we've been goat farming about three years. Three years really doesn't sound like a long time, but Charles Pickett says sometimes he has up to 10 thousand goats on his property. He identified our island friend as a Spanish goat, one with a good lifespan. Seven to ten years if they don't run into problems. A Spanish goat, uh, hardy goats, uh, they get along with just about any type of uh, land, any kind of weather. Uh, like I say, the biggest thing with, with the goat is to keep them worm free, and that's just past the rotation. It's okay, girl. The guys that do the gator hunting, they're pretty good. If somebody sees one big enough to tackle that goat, he ain't gonna be in there long. And even though they weren't the ones responsible, Campbell says some neighbors regularly drop off extra food. I found this campfire circle made by visitors who may have also dropped off this culvert playground. Although the question remains, how'd he get here? Easy hush. He's pretty much been accepted, but maybe not completely by the crew members. And the dogs can, I guess they smell them long before we get there. They just don't understand why they can't go after every bird or goat or any other creature that we find around. They don't understand why they can't hop off and, and run him down. Exploring the Unexplained this Mystery Monday, Jacob Kittlestad, WJTV News Channel 12. Cute dogs. i tell you, that was a cute story. A few months ago, a miner was arrested for the killing of a goat on Goat Island. Neighbors say although the goat's now alone, he appears to be doing fine.